So what if was pretty cool. And as soon as I saw the Hydra Stomper, I knew I need the action figure of him. And yeah, uh, Marvel Legends was pretty quick on it. And here I am with the Marvel Legends Hydra Stomper. Uh, this very big $50 beefy chunk of plastic that in my opinion was pretty well worth it. It's not perfect. I mean, it's a, it's a, and it's a thing that exists. It's not going to be perfect. But I'm pretty happy with it. And if it looks like something you want, if you want a big old beefy World War II Iron Man in your life, get the Hydra Stomper because it's pretty cool. Now granted, yes, it is 50 bucks, but I mean, this is a $50 chunky action figure that, uh, let's just compare it to a $20 Marvel Legend. I feel like, I mean, the, the heft, the plastic, uh, definitely is substantial on this. This is like bigger than build a figure size. You know, this is a huge figure. He is, I mean, as you can see, he's pretty freaking big. A lot of people who are interested in this probably have an Iron Man standing around, and a lot of them are standard size nowadays. So you can see, yeah, it's huge. It's pretty much the same size as the Iron Monger that they came out with recently. So it's pretty big. And do I love it? Yes, I do. Um, but does it have some issues? Yes, it does. It doesn't like standing too well. I haven't had too much of a fun time trying to get it to stand. If you look at the ankles, you can kind of see what's going on here. <laughs> so, yeah, they're looking a little funky, aren't they? Um, so, yeah, the this part of the ankle is basically this big old platform, and then there's these really deep rivets. I just don't feel like it gives them enough of a support. And with him having a backpack and everything, it's kind of... It's kind of it's kind of difficult to get him to stand just a little bit. I mean, I honestly, you know, have more luck with other figures than this. It is not one of those figures where it's got big chunky feet. You can just plop it and it'll stand. I say as I plop it and it's standing, but as you can see, it's leaning forward a little bit. You know, it's not one that'll just plop straight up and stand. I say as it's standing straight up after I plopped it. But if you look at the feet. If we look at these feet, you can see that foot's not even flat. If we get that foot flat, it's going to rock and it's going to fall. So yeah, it's kind of hard to get the feet flat. It's kind of kind of hard to get him in a stable pose. I mean, he's such a big chunky figure. He's got these big old articulation joints. Like, look at these knees having to bend that. You know, it's a big old click. It's not the easiest thing to do. You don't have too much ankle rocker in some degrees because it's kind of, you know, it's a big chunky figure. I feel like it's almost too reliant on detents because you're trying to get it in a pose and it's just kind of fighting you. I don't know. It's it's still a really awesome figure, but I feel like it just kind of struggles to stand sometimes. But other times, like if you work with it enough, if you deal with it enough, if you kind of have the patience for it, you can get it standing, and you can get it standing in some pretty cool poses. But as you can see, it's still still wanting to rock, so you have to readjust it. Definitely it's one of those that takes patience to get it to stand. But once you get it, man, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's a pretty cool figure. So what's it come with? Not too much. He's got blast effects for his jetpack. You can just plug those right in, and they, they plug in. It's kind of standard Iron Man blast effects. Uh, do they work with normal Iron Man blasts? Uh, I'm going to say no. Yeah, they're definitely way too big, so you can't use that for a normal Iron Man. Not the same peg size. I mean, put those in the backpack, and the backpack actually looks really cool. Has some nice detail right there. Has, I guess I should say it also doesn't stay on too well. <laughs> uh, it does have some hinges here. It does actually have like a little handle and some foot pads for Peggy Carter if you get her. Will I get her? Haven't decided yet. <laughs> Um, honestly, I just really wanted this, but yeah, I mean, it's a neat little backpack and also comes with hands. You get fist, you get open, you get open, you get fist. They, they look nice. Definitely the animated style, as you can see. I mean, it's an animated figure. There is one thing I have to point out. Some of you that are eagle eyed or are just already familiar with this figure may have noticed. Oh, hey, it's not supposed to have black in the mouth plate. Why does yours have black in the mouth plate? Well, let me tell you, it very distinctly in the show, to me anyway, had the appearance of having black in the mouth plate. 
but this figure it was just left green and it just didn't look good to me so i colored it in because i just i didn't like it and now i like it a lot more if you see an issue with a figure and it's something where it's not like oh i need to keep this in mint condition i'm going to sell it and make a fortune i'm going to retire off of it someday number one you shouldn't collect like that <laughs> but number two you know man if it's if you feel like it's something that's going to make you happier with the figure go ahead and do it you know, I don't really have that limitation anymore. I'm not like, oh, I can't, I can't dare touch it. I can't dare customize it. Man, if it's going to make me happier, I'm going to go ahead and do it. So I definitely went ahead and did it with that, and I have no regrets. Am I going to wash them up and do all that? I thought about it. I probably won't. I just really like them for just being a big, beefy World War II Iron Man. I love this thing. It's not perfect. It is kind of a struggle to pose. It's, you know, doesn't always want to stand up, but... It's fun, man. It's a fun toy. It's a fun design. I love the little uh, <laughs> the little rungs so uh, Steve Rogers can climb in. I love the little shoulder handles there. It's just, it's fun, man. It's a fun toy. It's got the antenna there. The shoulder pads are nice. It's kind of that modern uh, style where they're their own little thing that lifts up and gets out of the way <clears throat> and still rotates with the arm. Very nice style. Uh, it's man i mean just look at it. it doesn't have too much detail because it is the animated design but still it's pretty cool i definitely dig it. it almost looks like that should do a little bit more of something doesn't it but it doesn't it's this detail right there but yeah I, I like it let's get into that articulation so his head is on the dumbbell joint so you get a lot of range out of that a lot of looking up so if you want him flying you can definitely do that uh the shoulders you already saw a lot of that pretty standard backpack flops up and down elbows bend about 90 degrees decent amount wrists move in and out up and down you know standard articulation there the waist i can't really determine what's going on with the waist because it doesn't really have a crunch from anything i've tried to figure out it doesn't really tilt to the side it just kind of is there it just kind of has a, a clicky swivel i guess that's all it really is it's kind of spongy you know you can see it definitely has some wiggle there but it's not <clears throat> it's not budging I say as it started to budge. Uh, <laughs> it's going back a little bit. Maybe for like the flight pose it can go back a little bit. But it doesn't really move forward at all. I don't want to move it too much. Yeah, I guess it just has a little click back. You know, legs, they move out. And then moving them forward, they are kind of clicky. They do have like detents in them. I don't know if there's things you could see or not. Probably not. It does have thigh swivels that are very hindered by the armor. The knees is one of those, it's a big chunky figure, so it's going to have these big old detents where it's basically just click, click, you know. Now granted, yeah, you can get in between, but it is designed to have these big distinct clicks. You know, you can hear that. So keep that in mind. Ankles move up and down. Oh, you can actually look inside there. It's kind of interesting looking. Uh, you can't actually rotate this whole assembly, but it doesn't really do you too much good. I don't know why you'd really need to rotate the foot up, and then you get pivot. I guess rotating it does help with pivot, but then again, once you pivot it like this deep, the armor gets in the way, so, you know, it's not really that useful anyway. Well, I guess you can, like, pivot it outside of the armor. You know, I guess that's an option, but then again, it's, I, I don't know, it's, with these feet, man, they're so awkward. And I feel like the, the proportion of the leg, it's not really Hasbro's fault, it's just an interesting design. I feel like there's too much weight going on at the back of the leg and the the foot just doesn't have enough back heel to really work as well as it could. I don't know, I just like picking up a figure, setting it down, and I can just plop it and it stands. And this guy, he stands, but he's he's wibbly and he will fall. So you definitely have to keep that in mind. It's not like a figure that will not stand up, it's just a figure that it fights you a little bit. <laughs> you know, it's it's not something that's you know, very, like, it's it's not standing super firm. All right, let's just let me put it that way. So, yeah, honestly, there's not too much else, much else to talk about, if my tongue will work. That's pretty much it. There we go. There is the Marvel Legends What If Hydra Stomper. Kind of a cool name for it. Kind of a kind of an on-the-nose name, too. But, hey, it's, it's a cool Iron Man suit. I love it. I recommend it if you're into Iron Man suits, especially for Marvel Legends. It's one of the main things I collect. Definitely go get it if it seems like something you want. Do I feel like it's worth the 50 bucks? Honestly, I, I feel like I got my money's worth out of it. It's a big, chunky figure, 
it has a decent amount of detail. Like you can see it has all the varied greens. Like you probably saw that on the head too. It has the different shades of green. It has the darker color in the rivets there. It has different greens kind of like on the gun there and deco on the backpack. It has a lot going on. It's got the star and the C-15. It's got the arc reactors. Didn't have the black in the mouth though for whatever reason. Honestly, I think if they would have done that dark green they did on the arms and the mouth plate, that would look that would have looked really nice. Yep, there we go. I think I'm done rambling. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Special shout out to the patrons of Patreon. You guys are awesome. Thank you all so much for the continued support. Alrighty, guys, that's it. Have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.